folks. So um, about about a week ago, I purchased the new Nook Glowlight 4. And um, in the past, I have always checked out books from the library for free um, using um, various platforms like Overdrive, Libby, and Caliber. And uh, there's probably a couple of more out there. But what I have found, this has been going on with, um, you know, Adobe Digital Edition, is that it's really weird. So sometimes I'll, you know, I was able to actually sync my books onto my Nook Glow Light. And then other times I would go in there into my Nook Glow Light and not even be able to find the documents that, um, or books or anything that I just downloaded. Now, um, in order to get Adobe Digital Editions to work on your computer, you have to install it and you also have to authorize the device that you are going to transfer um, the data to or the books. And I'm going to read this um, this comment here. This is on Google. I, I believe it's on Google. Oh, this is in Google Play Store. But it says that this piece of software is terrible. I needed to read a lone library book and the illustrations in the book load inconsistently sometimes fully sometimes only one fourth and sometimes none flipping back and forth sometimes changes what it loads but it never works fully for illustrations for a company that resources of adobe there's a very there the uh, sorry for a company with a with the resources of adobe the level of poor functionality is the buggiest and seems that the pro this product isn't just priority better off sticking to the Kindle formats. So there's definitely an issue, uh, something going on with Adobe. I don't know if there's a forum or whatever, but um, it is sporadically working on my Nook. Now, I just plugged my Nook back up. I was able to get the books transferred on there, and it works, but it doesn't work flawlessly every time. And um, a lot, there's, you know, I've seen a lot of people have a lot of confusion even trying to get Adobe Editions to work, but you do have to create, you do have to create an account, you do have to have a username and password, and you do have to authorize the devices that you do want to view your books on. But from what I've seen on the Nook side, and I'll probably try to give it a, um, a walk through, try to give it a chance on the Kindle, but on the Nook side, it has been giving me issues. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. Um, some of these tutorial videos are vague. I do want to start uploading more videos that get that where I where you know people actually address some of the issues and give people solid answers so they don't have to go down the rabbit hole of trying to get their stuff to work. But thank you for watching. Peace.